my lovely, lovely imps. It's Mr. Beast! Just kidding, it's Demon Mama, but we're talking about Mr. Beast! That's right, today we are gonna talk about the very interesting cancellation. Cancellation? I guess it is a kind of a cancellation. Um, that uh, Mr. Beast, uh, uh, <laughs> uh, it, it's, uh, uh, sorry, I read a comment in chat and now I started stumbling. We're going to be talking about the very strange cancellation that Mr. Beast has been experiencing uh, at the hands of, you guessed it, deranged conservatives. Uh, as uh, many of you who are watching this video on YouTube, uh, may not know, but I just did a video talking about the absolutely off the wall, uh, uh, Dylan Mulvaney Bud Light meltdown, uh, and I mean serious meltdown, uh, uh, that conservatives have been having over the last few weeks. But guess what? Online, in the YouTube world, conservatives are also having a complete and utter meltdown about Mr. Beast. Now, why? Mr. Beast is one of the most, is I believe he's the literal number one YouTuber at the moment. Uh, his content is mostly centered around doing uh, uh, social stunts. They're charitable social stunts. So his channel, they say like, it'll be things like, I gave out a free car as a tip to my, uh, to my, uh, to my DoorDash driver. I gave $100,000 out of a money cannon to a bunch of people uh, who are hanging out in a public park. He does things like that. Uh, he'll do things like, uh, he did like a Squid Games, like a jokey version of the Squid Games, which is kind of ironic, but also kind of funny. Uh, he does all kinds of little stunts like that, and usually they have a charitable goal in mind. Um, most of his content it falls well within the realm of philanthropy, which, as far as things go, is pretty unoffensive. And you might be wondering, well, what the hell are conservatives mad at Mr. Beast about? And uh, uh, the answer is Mr. Beast's friend is trans. I'm, I'm serious, that's the actual answer. So Mr. Beast's uh, 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 friend, uh, who goes by the name Chris Tyson and uses any all pronouns, uh, recently announced uh, her intention to transition and uh, has begun publicly presenting in a way more aligned with their gender. It is a really, really, seems like a really minor thing. Um, you know, Chris Tyson is a member of the Mr. Beast team, a personal friend, uh, one of the founding members of Mr. Beast's channel. Uh, Chris has been around on Mr. Beast's channel doing videos since the very beginning and occasionally appears in Mr. Beast videos. Obviously, Mr. Beast is the name, the face, and the primary character in all Mr. Beast content and branding, but Chris is a, a, a character who appears all the time uh, in these videos. And uh, n basically nothing else actually really happened. Um, uh, Chris just said, I'm trans, and posted a picture of her wearing more feminine clothing than, than she used to. Um, it's really not a particularly shocking incident whatsoever, but it has made a lot of conservatives, in fact, not just explicit conservatives it's made a lot of people really weirdly angry and when i say they've gotten really angry um they've gotten really angry let me just show you real quick it's to the point that mr beast actually had to make a statement on it i'm gonna read you mr beast's statement okay and then we're gonna watch a video together uh that alleges the issues with uh with um, Mr. Beast's friend, Chris. Okay, I'm gonna show you. Ready? Real quick, let's take a look at this. Uh, so here is a Twitter user by the name Raylalin. They're a small Twitter user. This new Sunny V2 video feels really invasive for all the wrong reasons. Why did you make this? You delved into the man's marriage and shit. It's really off-putting and unnecessary. Now, some of you may be familiar with the channel Sunny V2. Sunny V2 is a pretty big content creator. Um, and I think we've actually watched one of Sonny's videos in the past on this channel. Um, Sonny V2 kind of does internet commentary. Um, and this video is the video we're going to be watching in just a minute. 
It's titled, Why Chris Will Soon Be a Nightmare for Mr. Beast. Now, Mr. Beast himself replied to this, yeah, this is getting absurd. Chris isn't my nightmare, he's my fucking friend, and things are fine. All this transphobia is really starting to piss me off. Now, let me just be the first to say, Mr. Beast, that's really fucking based of you. It really, really is. That's, that's really based. Um... There is a lot of pressure by public figures, especially the most famous YouTuber, to basically always make uh, the ideal business decision. And in most cases, the ideal business decision is to never say anything at all, to just ignore uh, anything political because, well, if you take if you make a political statement, you could make like half your audience angry and half your audience happy. And so most of the time, the best decision is just to never say anything at all. But Mr. Beast didn't do that. Mr. Beast chose to stick up for his friend and like, it, like very publicly stick up for his friend. Just take a look at this. This comment was again, this is a small YouTuber with only 836 followers, or this is a small Twitter user with only 836 followers. Mr. Beast's comment on this got 34.9 million views. It got 26.7 thousand retweets, 7,300 quote retweets, and 360,000 likes. That's a pretty public statement from Mr. Beast, and he honestly didn't have to do that at all. And I have to say, I really respect that. I don't just respect that he's making a statement on trans rights, that he has explicitly called out the transphobia. I appreciate that a lot. But I also appreciate that it shows that he values his friends more than he values the perfect business decision. And I think that's pretty great. I actually do think that's a genuinely good thing. And it's actually greatly increased my respect for Mr. Beast. So massive shout out to that. And also, of course, being that I'm a political channel and a trans person myself, I want to say it's pretty awesome that Mr. Beast was actually willing to call out the transphobia directly. Have Mr. Beast on stream? Mr. Beast is welcome on my stream any day. Literally any minute of any day. If Mr. Beast sends me an email and says, I want to come on your stream at 5.30 a.m. tomorrow morning, I will be on stream with Mr. Beast at 5.30. I will I will jump on one foot with a with a cup on my head. There you have it. I'll even go that far, all right? <laughs> Mr. Beast is the most famous YouTuber. Are you kidding me? Obviously, I would talk to Mr. Beast. I would be foolish not to. Are you guys crazy? Of course I would. Not only is he super, super interesting, but he's also the most popular YouTuber in the history of YouTube. No one's ever done better than Mr. Beast. I would love to pick his brain for one minute. He's the top YouTuber, obviously. Obviously. You gotta give respect to the guy, no matter what you think about him. All right. So... Uh, I thought it would be valuable for us to react to this video from Sunny V2 and see what it's all about. I want to hear what the arguments uh, uh, that this guy has for why Chris would be a nightmare for Mr. Beast. Because to me, it just sounds like raw transphobia, right? There's no real reason. I have, at least so far on social media, I have seen no reason other than bigotry and prejudice. And that's what it is, okay, guys? Let's just not mince words. Conservatives like to say, um, conservatives like to say, oh, you, you call me a bigot for having a different opinion? If your different opinion is, I don't like someone just because they're trans, that's, that's bigotry. That's not just differing opinion. That's just categorically, definitionally bigotry and categorically, definitionally prejudice. So far, I haven't seen a single thing other than people being mad that Chris is trans. So I want to watch this video for myself. I have not seen this video. This is going to be a completely fresh react. Um, I mentioned before that I actually specifically avoided watching anybody else's coverage of the Sunny V2 uh, uh, video because I wanted to go into this completely with a blank slate. I don't watch a whole lot of Sunny V2. 
I don't know a lot about um, his history. I've heard a few things about him here and there, but I wanted to make sure we got a fresh react. Um, so we're gonna have to find out. I, I know other people have covered it recently. That's fine. I've actively, again, I've actively avoided uh, uh, seeing anything about it because I wanted to see it for myself. Uh, let's see. So we're gonna watch that video together. By the way, if you are here and you've been having fun with my content so far, please make sure that you press like, subscribe, and ring the bell. We would love to have you back. My lovely fans, which are called the Imps, would love to have you join them. My community is fun. We talk about politics. We talk about uh, media. We talk about all kinds of things. And I make a lot of jokes. So it's a really fun time. I'd love to have you with us. We've done a whole bunch of videos about all kinds of similar topics. So smack that subscribe button, smack that like button, and come hang out with us. We'd love to have you. Oh, and if you like this video when you're done, don't forget to leave a comment. That means the world to me. Let's watch this video without any further ado. So here's the video right here. Why Chris will soon be a nightmare for Mr. Beast. Let's watch it. The Chris Tyson situation. Oops. Australian alert. Let's do it could become a complete disaster for Mr. Beast's brand. However, it may also provide some unique benefits. So let's begin by All going right. over the drama before explaining exactly how this will impact the Mr. Beast channel. In mid-2022, fans began to notice that Chris Tyson was changing. In the early days, he represented the quintessential Southern gun and truck loving dude. Yet beginning in March 2022, Chris began to display increasingly feminine traits, making tweets such as, I finally got my nails done at a nail tech. Okay. So... Alright, I mean... All I can say so far is... People on the internet are really weird, okay? They're really invasive, and they're really judgmental. Um, this, this kind of thing, like, I, I mean, so far there hasn't been, like, a, a, any sort of, like, a value judgment on this video, uh, like, made by Sunny. Um, it is true that fans are really, really weird. Um, I do think it's kind of weird to be like, oh, he was a trucker type or something like that. I don't really, again, that's very parasocial. A lot of these, like, weird judgments that people make about people's personality as an internet figure is nothing short of parasocial. For those who don't know what the word parasocial means, uh, parasocial is a term that was coined in the 1950s that referred to the unhealthy... Uh, generally unhealthy and one-way relationships that some people form uh, uh, with celebrities. Um, that they see somebody on their TV all the time and it gives them the idea that they know more about them than they actually do. It's a cognitive illusion. Uh, parasocial attachment is is when you think that you know somebody that you've never actually met because you've spent a lot of time watching them in movies or YouTube videos or whatever. And people, the internet has like ratcheted parasocial attachment to truly unbelievable levels where people think they know these people inside and out. And that's just not true. Uh, you, you only see one side uh, of the people uh, that like you only see what people let you see online until you start invading and even then you're stealing glances at something you don't have context for people have private lives and the person that you recognize that you see on the internet is only one version or one side of that person and that's not a bad thing it's a natural thing it's just how content creation goes people got to be careful about parasocial attachment anyway let's continue Initially, Chris would highlight that his facial appearance had changed significantly since the start of the pandemic, which accompanied another post reading, Okay, so in four different customs, I had to prove I was myself because I quote, look nothing like my passport pic, so much that I'm considering updating my passport. Do you see any resemblance? Prompting rep This is, um, this is pretty based. Uh, by the way, if you're trans in the audience, uh, first of all, the pre-pandemic versus now is a literal trans community meme. Like, the pre-pandemic versus now has been going on since 2020, and most of it, uh, is, is, like, a lot of that is literally trans people posting their before and after transition pics. Uh, some people, of course, get goofy with it, um, you know, and they'll post, like, two pictures of celebrities as, like, a joke and, you know, stuff like that, but it's like a trans meme. But secondly, if you're trans, we know what HRT looks like, okay? 
and it looks good. Uh, 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 Chris seems very happy with the direction that their appearance is going. It's great. It seems great. It seems very weird that Sunny V2 has like spooky music playing right now. Like, listen to this real quick. Listen to the music choice here. Another post reading, okay, so in four different customs, I had to prove I was myself because I quote, look nothing like my passport pic. So it's, it's literally, it's literally like a horror movie track or like a thriller movie track. What the hell? much that I'm considering updating my passport. Do you see any resemblance? Prompting replies such as you- Ron's KFC with the incredibly generous $10 super chat. Thank you very, very much for supporting the channel. It means the world to me. Thank you so very much. Let's continue. You went from man to boy. Chris okay. responded by stating, nah, to be honest, I just really started taking my mental health seriously and eating better. Yet his Twitter photos kept insinuating that Chris was becoming more feminine with this same kind of look. Okay. But why does that matter? Like, if someone, if someone is, how are those contradictory? Like, why did he say it like that? Like, like, but, but he was, be, but, but he's being more feminine. Well, maybe get, being healthier made him more confident to express how he wants. Like, I don't, I don't get it. Uh, I, I, I'm a little worried, unfortunately, with the direction that this is going showing up in his Mr. Beast appearances. For example, on the 6th of January, 2023, Beast Reacts uploaded a video titled I Strapped a GoPro to a Fish, in which Chris <laughs> dressed in a way that prompted comments such as, Chris has been adopting more and more traits that remind me of my grandmother. Okay, so some people just gonna ignore Chris's nails. Chris had to have lost a bet. The look is getting- Okay, but this is, this is weird. This is weird. When people make, this is one of the weirdest things in the world. Um, YouTube commenters, they think that just because you're a YouTube, uh, like you're a YouTube personality, that every part of your personality, like every part of your existence is for their judgment. It's like the weirdest thing. It's like, this is a video about a GoPro on a fish. Who cares what Chris is wearing? Like who, who asked, who asked for feedback on Chris's outfit on a video about a GoPro to a fish? Getting wild. The response to the video then prompted countless viral TikToks, such as this one with 700,000 likes, stating, How did Chris go from this to this? while others even made the claim that Carl had turned him gay. Now okay. Well, those are deranged. That's a deranged thing to do. These are weirdos. That's weirdo behavior. Now, this okay, was pretty whatever. ridiculous as Carl isn't even that feminine and Chris had come out as bisexual years before he and Carl had even met. The true catalyst for Chris Tyson's feminization instead seemed to have come from his marriage. In January 2022, Chris would what? post a photo- Wait, what? I'm sorry, can I listen to that again? I need to make sure that I'm following this correctly. He and Carl had even met. The true catalyst for Chris Tyson's feminization instead seemed to have come from his marriage. In January 2022, Chris Oh, oh the catalyst for feminization is the mar How would you fucking, how would you, wh how, what? What, what, how do you come to that conclusion? Yeah, apparently, apparently be, getting married will make you t uh, gay or something. What? Chris would post a photo with his wife to his Instagram, yet after this, the family photo stopped altogether. Fans also noticed that he'd removed his wedding ring, with the ring's absence correlating perfectly with the very first post in which he'd painted his nails. Chris can... This is actually insane. I didn't know that this was gonna instantaneously turn into a flat earth tier, red circles, like, ah, look, there's the goblin. You guys know, we watch, uh, we've done a million cons uh, a conspiracy video reacts on my channel and they're all exactly like this. They're like, look, there's a UFO and they draw like a red circle. Who can, wait, how do you draw a meaningful connection between someone painting their nails and their ring coming off. Like, what, how would you, why would you draw, what leads you to draw a causal relationship between those two?
This is deranged confirmed the split in a post from March 2023 reading, for a little over a year now, me and Katie have been separated, with this okay. also confirming that Chris's transformation began as soon as his marriage came to an end. Chris went from life- That doesn't confirm that, does it? No, it doesn't confirm that at all. That's just the first time he publicly posted his nails. That's just how- how- Remember- Remember what I just said about parasocial behavior? Remember what I, do you remember what I, what I said about parasocial behavior? They, the first time this channel saw the painted nails in public, the first time they're, they're saying that's that, that like these correlate perfectly because of reasons, because of parasocial reasons. I saw this post then, which means these must be, be tied together. Actual, uh, oh boy, I don't want to be, uh, Oh God, I gotta be careful. This is like some, we're getting into some mental, mental health worries situations. Adding campfires and raising a family with his beautiful wife to now trying to be a wife with his man buns and long nails. Wait, why is this a, why is this a relevant comment? Okay, so, uh, this, I'm just gonna say it right now. Sunny V2 is insanely manipulative. Th what relevance does this have to the narrative that's being built? Well, the answer is Sunny is trying to put up tweet, uh, put up comments that are explicitly pointing at one thing. This is jumping. This is jumping to conclusions. Cho the, the choice of of comments says a lot about what message is trying to be uh, 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 conveyed here. Chris went from lighting campfires and raising a family with his beautiful wife to now trying to be a wife with his man buns and long nails. First of all, parasocial as hell. I'm very sure that Chris is still lighting campfires and probably still raising a family and now trying to be a wife with man buns and long... What, like, what is that even supposed to mean? As the criticism continued to pile- Yeah, uh, Demon Mama, obviously some random YouTube comment from a random guy named Todd is super important to this narrative. Alright, well I see where this is gonna go. Chris announced that he'd be taking a break from social media. And while there was a possibility that Chris would make efforts to return to his former self, he'd rather do the opposite and double down on his feminine image, showing up to the Kids' Choice Awards looking like this- Wait, wait, what? Can we, can we try that again? Criticism continued to pile. Chris announced that he'd be taking a break from social media. And while there was a possibility- As criticism started to pile. So, what, sorry, let me correct that real quick. As harassment started to pile up, Chris didn't do anything worthy of criticism. Chris just started dressing slightly differently. Chris painted their nails. And now- and Sonny is saying as criticism piled up, no, that's harassment, my dude. That's weird, uh, uh, transphobic harassment. That's going, I don't like that you're more feminine. ...ability that Chris would make efforts to return to his former self. He'd rather do the opposite. Why? Why would you ever assume that Chris would return to his former self? Do you think that, like, when people age, that they're like, oh, I'm older now. I'm going to make an effort to return to myself when I was in high school. What the absolute fuck? This is brain disease. <laughs> this is the most... What the hell is even being... <laughs> it, it's, it's implying that transitioning is unnatural and a mistake? I mean, yes, but there's been no... There's been no internal support for that in even in this video. The video is just like what like w maybe he'll return to his former self. Why? Why would you ever assume that? If somebody paints their nails and says, "Wow, I sure like my painted nails." Why would you go, "Oh, return, return to tradition." <laughs> what the what the hell? it and double down on his feminine image showing up to the kids good, choice awards good based double down if you feel good wearing feminine clothes that's awesome nobody's yelling at this girl here for wearing a pink 
uh, and fish for wearing fishnets and or uh, I don't know if that's actually fishnets. It is, does look like a fishnet for wearing fishnets over a pink dress. Nobody's yelling at her for doubling down on on femininity. Who cares? What is this? looking like this before making the announcement that he'd been doing HRT for approximately two months. Which Oh, he'd been doing HRT. Oh no. He was shooting up HRT, guys. Oh my God. According to a quick Google search is the medical process for changing genders. Chris would expand on this by stating informed. Okay, hold on real quick. We got to take a breather for one second. One quick breather. HRT isn't just for changing genders. Uh, literally, millions of cis people are currently on HRT. HRT is any hormone therapy uh, that replaces your naturally re uh, 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 created hormones with any other hormones. Old men go on HRT when, they, when their testosterone levels drop. Old women go on HRT when their estrogen levels drop. Young people who have injuries to their kidneys or uh, or genitals or anything like that go on HRT. Young people who have who have uh, hormonal dysregularities go on HRT to simply replace the hormones that their body would normally uh, produce. Oh, and of course, let's not forget that every bodybuilder on the goddamn planet is also on hormone replacement therapy, often taking uh, 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 testosterone in addition to other hormones like human growth hormone. So come on. Prozy Rosie asks, how long did it take for you to realize any significant changes in your body with HRT? Um, I'd say like a month or two. They start really small, but they do start pretty quick. Um, when if you if you switch if you're taking like cross sex hormones like in my case, I know this might come as a shock to my viewers. I'm trans. <gasps> wow, who could have predicted? I'm trans. Uh, when I started taking uh, estrogen, it, it the changes start pretty quickly. Um, I, I I don't want to get too far into it, but yeah, you you can notice it's pretty reasonable to believe that some changes would start within two months, but they're pretty low grade. Like it's it's small changes. So yeah. Anyway, let's continue. Consent HRT saved my and many others' lives. The hurdles GNC people have to jump through to get life-saving gender-affirming healthcare in a first world country is wild to me. Just let people make informed decisions about their own bodies. True and based. Chris is so based and correct here. Literally just 100% true. Uh, uh, uh. In, in in America, the amount of hoops that people have to jump through in order to get a treatment that is given away to cis people like candy, okay? Do you wanna, like, okay, let me just, 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 just so we can be clear here. I w once was, at my old job, I used to clean cars uh, very frequently. And once I was listening to the radio while cleaning a car, and an ad came on that was like, are you feeling low energy? Get HRT today. It was like a Saul Goodman-esque uh, uh, advertisement that came on the radio uh, for doctor's offices trying to teach uh, cis people that if they're getting older, they might need HRT to supplement their, their, their hormones as they age. And you can just go to your doctor and say, I think my T levels are low. They'll do a quick blood test and they'll give you testosterone. But for trans people, you got to get a letter from a from a psychiatrist. You got to get a you got to get usually confirmation from your 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 general practitioner who will then send you to a uh, to a specialist unless you live in a place where you can get informed consent, at which point you were treated just like cis people. You see, there's a double standard. There is a prejudiced double standard in the United States of America. HRT is not given to trans people because trans people are treated as strange and different. It has nothing to do with health. Absolutely nothing to do with health. The, the risks of HRT are identical for both cis people and trans people, but trans people are treated differently. Anyway, let's continue which received a positive response from both Carl and Mr. Beast, who wrote, Got you, I did one more heart than Carl because I'm a better friend. Beast. While his co-workers expressed positivity, others weren't so welcoming. There goes a father figure the kid won't ever be- Okay, who cares about this person? Who is this person? Who is live with Evan? 
Let's find out who Live With Evan is. Is Live With Evan one of his friends? Live With Evan, hold on real quick. Live With Evan is a 2,482 follower uh, Twitter blue, Twitter fake blue check. Their, their pinned tweet is this tweet that was used by Sunny V2. A literal random, just a random Twitter user. So that's interesting. Some people have been mad. Some random nobody on Twitter who doesn't know Chris, doesn't know Mr. Beast, isn't a medical professional, isn't a public figure, just some random guy. Be able to look up to. Hard times create strong men, strong men create good times, good times create weak men, and weak men create hard times. Weak man times. Okay, so we're gonna ignore the fact that this is a literal fascist saying. Like, I'm not kidding you. Hard times create strong men, strong men create good times. That is a, that is a fascist saying. That is, fa that is, fascists are the ones who propagated that. That is a, like, literally, like, I'm not kidding. Like, I'm not just saying it's fascist, even though it is, it, it's content is fascist, but that is a, that is propagated by fascists, first of all. But secondly, there goes a father figure the kid won't ever be able to look up to? Why? Why? Oh, is it because Chris is trans? That their kids can't look up to them anymore because they're trans? That kind of sounds like just empty bigotry. Just kind of sounds just like you're being prejudiced. Chris responded to this comment by stating, This is just more dog whistling that somehow trans and GNC folks aren't safe around kids. Tucker begs for me to come back when I leave for like two days to film. He is so loved and happy. Kids aren't born with hate, it's taught by people like you, and my child will only know love. I know I'm going to be a great parent, and so is every other person who puts the love of their child before everything. I made this decision because I wanted to show up as my best and happiest self for him. In a way, this was for Tucker. Based. That is beyond awesome. Responding to some random disgusting hater and being like, I love my kid, my kid loves me, we're doing fine, who the fuck are you? Do you see what I, oh, excuse me, I had a bit of a hiccup there. Do you see what I'm saying about the, uh, about the absolutely deranged parasocial behavior here? These people don't know anything about Chris and his personal life, they're just making things up. They're just making things up based on bigotry. Chris's response received some positivity such as, I'm convinced you're an amazing father. Tucker is lucky to have you and also lucky to have all of those who surround and support you in his life. As well as I adore that, I'm glad you made that decision. It's so much easier to be a parental figure when you're not struggling with dysphoria, yet he also received an- That's great. So some people were being normal and saying, I'm glad that you and your family are happy. I'm glad that you're doing good with your family. I'm not gonna be parasocial and weird. I'm happy that you're happy. That's like a normal human response. Guys, when somebody says, hey, things are going good with my home life, my kid likes me and I like my kid, the normal, healthy human response to that is to go, dude, that's great. That sounds sick. Congratulations. Not to go, well, hard, hard times make strong men. Strong men make good times. Good times make weak men. Weak men make bad times. Like that's the only weirdos do that, okay? Like literally it's the most soy fragile thing you could possibly imagine. Von Tooks with the incredibly generous $5. I keep getting the vibe of it, of like a direct to VHS tape that would have unattributed quotes for reviews. Literally, I know, it's so weird. This guy relies on like random YouTube comments to build this entire thing. So weird. What a strange time. Oh my God. All right, let's continue. We better continue. By the way, if you're enjoying this review of this very strange video, make sure you press like, make sure you press subscribe, and please leave a comment below. I love to hear your thoughts, even if you just leave me an emoji. It means the world to me, because I love to hear feedback from my awesome community. 
Uh, anyway, let's continue. Let's continue trying to go through this. Let's go. Equal amount of backlash. You ripped apart your family and took a father figure away from your son just so you could paint your nails and act zesty. Pathetic. He but that's not true. But that's just... This person just... This is just... Do you see the difference between the comments? The comments that are like, I'm happy that you, you you said that you're happy about your home life, that's great. Versus people who are just like, you ripped apart your family. What? Where do you see any evidence of that? There's no evidence that there was any family ripping and there's no evidence that the father figure was gone. Unless of course you believe that like a trans person can't be a parental figure at all. Keep in mind, that Chris, again, uses any all pronouns. Chris is non-binary. So that that doesn't that doesn't even mean that there can't be a masculine or fatherly influence. In fact, Chris seems relatively comfortable, uh, at least at the moment, at least from what we can tell, Chris has responded well to uh, what we've seen even in this video to comments saying you'll be a good father. So this is just deranged projection other figure away from your son just so you could paint your nails and act zesty. Pathetic. He will get torn apart at school, won't want to have friends around his house. A life full of difference and being alone. Insane. In actually insane. I don't like making things up like who apparently apparently Craig C aka Craig sucks uh is personal friends with uh, Chris, Miss, Chris, Chris Tyson's child, which is a little bit concerning and creepy if you ask me, but apparently Craig is, is, uh, is Chris, Mr. Beast's, uh, uh, uh child, uh, child's friend and knows these things. Insane parasociality, just deranged. The level of parasociality is, it, it's so, it's so unhealthy. Like, okay, guys, this type of stuff genuinely makes me very uncomfortable to watch. This is something that you as the viewers never will ever have to think about in your entire life. Unless one of you becomes a YouTuber, which some of you might, some of my audience actually are currently YouTubers, but most of you will never have to think about this. I have to deal with this type of shit on a daily basis. And I'm a tiny YouTuber by comparison. Parasociality is creepy. It's really uncomfortable. When people talk to you uh, about, like they talk to you with confidence about things that are completely untrue. I've had people send me emails talking about what my life is like, and they don't even know who I am. I don't even know who they are. I don't even know who they are at all. I don't even know them at all. There have been people who have written me emails trying to tell me what my day-to-day -day life must be like in their imagination. It's incredibly uncomfortable and incredibly, incredibly weird. Bizadu says, Vosh was talking about this earlier and made a great point. This isn't parasocial. He's just trying to launder his own transphobia using other parasocial people. Sonny is a ghoul. Well, yeah, there's a narrative being constructed here, right? Like at the very beginning of the video, uh, Sonny, I, I mentioned this. I said this video is very manipulative at the very beginning because Sonny started the video by showing um, anti-trans... Um, I'll have it in just a little bit. Thank you so much. Um, by showing like anti-trans messages first that came out of left field that had no relevance to the narrative whatsoever other than, of course, the implication from Sunny V2, which is you should be, you should be feeling like this is weird. And he keeps playing equivalence between normal reactions of people going, that's great to hear, man. I'm happy that your family is doing good. And guys like Craig C who say he will get torn apart at school. He won't love you anymore. Weird. That's weird. Let's continue. Una. Must have missed the point in that tweet. How's this? <laughs> Dearest demon mama, allow me to tell you what I think you do in your day-to-day -day life because that's perfectly healthy and normal to do. Yeah, people are friggin' weird. This for him when you're depriving him of a father figure. What does this mean? Depriving him of a father figure. What does that mean? Do apparently, 
um, apparently, if you have a kid, you have to be a certain person. Like, if you're if you have a kid, sorry guys, you're not allowed to paint your nails anymore. If you have a kid, you must never paint your nails. You are locked for, or else you're doing a disservice to your child. These people have brain diseases, unironically. Also, 12 likes. Notice how irrelevant these random people are. These are like nobodies. Uh, although Chris wasn't altered by these comments, as he'd once again reiterate his certainty in a new post reading, it's never too late to start being yourself, Based. which received praise from Mr. Beast as well as Nolan and Carl. However, Beast! These comments also added extra fuel to the fire. In a few years- What? F fuel to what fire? Call it what it is. Sunny is a coward. I mean, obviously, it's so clear from the messaging that Sunny V2 agrees with the negative comments. Sunny is showing more negative comments, irrelevant negative comments, than positive comments, and also presenting them as if they're equal. It's a normal thing for a famous YouTuber uh, to post a very regular video and have the YouTube social media go, you look cool. That is normal behavior. The fire is a hate campaign. The fire is bigoted harassment. It's not like a drama, it's bigoted harassment. Call it what it is. Is look back at this thread and remember they were never your friends. Only yes men cowards. Hope you come out of this safe. What? 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 Mr. Beast responded to this with a simple opinion irrelevant ratio, to which the original commenter would state, I have 30 followers, so go ahead and ratio me. I'll still rest easy knowing that I'm not a coward who idly sits by watching my friend ruin his own life. What are you talking about? This is insane! And Sunny V2 has no commentary on this. Notice that, notice that Sunny V2 has nothing to say about this absolutely insane 30 follower Andy saying one of the most deranged things you could possibly imagine. In a few beers, in a few years, remember they were never your friends, only yes men. I hope you come out of this safe. What is unsafe about dressing the way that you want? What is unsafe about painting your nails? This is insane. I'm out of this safe. Mr. Beast responded to this with a simple opinion irrelevant ratio. It is, it is a completely irrelevant opinion. And he deserves a ratio, deranged. Yo, to which the original commenter would state, I have 30 followers, so go ahead and ratio me. I'll still rest easy knowing that I'm not a coward who idly sits by watching my friend ruin his own life. In some ways, it was nice to see the boys standing up for Chris on Twitter. However, the situation has already begun to change the dynamic within the videos. For example, what? That's it? That's all you've got to say about that? About people being actually insane and saying, you're transitioning? Have fun dying! Like, you're gonna, you have some guy who goes fucking insane is like, oh my god, you're taking HRT? I hope you don't die! And then, and then you're just like, it was kind of nice to see people standing up, but it's ruining the videos. Man, Sunny V2 is a scum. Holy and fuck. In a recent live stream titled Opening a Thousand Mystery Art Boxes, Chris would once again dress in quite a feminine way. And while everybody participated as usual, the energy and vibe didn't feel nearly as smooth as it normally does. It felt as though- One random comment there was an unaddressed elephant in the room and therefore everybody was in their head as opposed to being in the present moment enjoying um each other's company. Maybe everybody was simply too busy opening packages, but Chris did make these bizarre jokes about Jimmy being female, making him incredibly uncomfortable. Oh my god, Jimmy, look, they drew you. Jimmy, they drew you so well. It looks just like you. Oh. Is that... Was that awkward? How do you know? They drew you. Jimmy, they drew you so well. It looks just like you. He just put... He just looks at the camera and smiles. And laughs. Huh? What? Are they... Is this like a psychic reading? Is he doing like... Is Sunny V2 doing like a crystal ball reading to be able to tell what people's moods are? Okay, hold on. Real quick. Hold on. Watch, I just want to do something real quick as a little as a little exercise to show you how insane this is. 
let me see if I can find a, a thumbnail of Mr. Beast, okay? Now, Mr. Beast, most of his thumbnails... Wait a minute, here we go. Let me just show you this real quick. Okay, ready? I'm gonna show another video from a previous event before... I mean, I could just... It's so easy. There's so many thumbnails where Mr. Beast is, like, smiling and looking at the camera and he just smiles the exact same way. Watch, let me let me show you, okay? Yeah, the Mr. Beast, uh, the Mr. Beast, uh, hold on, let me just show you this. I just took a screenshot from an earlier event, an event before Chris was out, okay? Look, it's literally the same smile. This was before Chris came out. Nobody was making any awkward jokes or anything. Chris wasn't publicly trans at this point. And look, the same exact smile. This video is insane. This video is actually insane. Oh, yes. Oh my god, it's Jimmy. How did fan art? This is what we were looking for. <laughs> be brave, be honest, be kind, Mr. Beast. That is my tagline. Becoming even weirder when... A so, this right here is what we call editorializing, okay? This is when you show a video and you project your own slanted opinion on it without the evidence. He has to put this text on the video so that you know what to think. It says Jimmy tries to divert conversation in any way possible. But what you actually see is just him talking about another letter. They're opening a thousand letters in a 10 minute YouTube video. Obviously, they're gonna it move this place of- Oh, yes. Oh my god, it's Jimmy. How did Chandler joins in to avoid an awkward moment? He's just talking. They're just talking like normal people. This is just, this is what is like raw propaganda, by the way. Putting text on the screen to uh, project meaning that isn't there. This is JCS levels of overanalyzing. No, this is like, this is like uh, those, those, uh, uh, remember that time, guys? My imps, OG imps in chat. Do you guys remember when we watched the, um, the body language aura reader on BitChute? Remember that day? Uh, it was like, it was probably like a year and a half ago where I went on BitChute and we were just watching random conspiracy theory videos and one of them was a aura reader, body language psychic who was reading the, le the body language of Donald Trump. It was exactly like this, no joke. She was like, she would pause the video and be like, you can see from the, Donald Trump is leaning to the right here. And you can see that's a, it's a position of confidence. His spirit is coming forward and telling you, roar like the lion, roar like the lion. I'm not kidding you. It was like, what the hell? Oh yeah, she was the lady that said that Biden had a pedo body aura. She just was like, I can sense pedo energy coming from Biden. D deranged. Actually, I think the lion's roar thing was actually about, um, what's that general guy? Uh, general, what's the general, the Trumper general guy? Does anybody remember what the Trump, the Trumper general guy was? Uh, oh God, why am I blanking on his name? Not General Grievous, you idiots. <laughs> no, you fucking idiots. <laughs> Hello there. Um, Mark something. General Flynn. Yeah, that was the one from General Flynn. I was misremembering. The lion thing was from General Flynn. The psychic lady, she was like, okay, I know this is a huge diversion, but the psychic lady was like, you can just sense the strong lion energy in General Flynn. And then she was going like this at the screen and she was like, it's like he's gonna pounce right on you. I was like, what the hell are we watching right now? All right, let's get back to the video. Let's go. Fan art, this is what we were looking for. <laughs> be brave, be honest, be kind, Mr. Mr. Beast. That is my tagline. Becoming even weirder when each member started to pay each other compliments. Hey, nice shirt. Thanks, dude, nice shirt. Hey, nice oh. shirt. Thanks, oh. dude, nice shirt. Thanks, nice shirt. Nice shoes. For the most part, the live stream was devoid. What? What am I supposed to pull away from that? What? What am I supposed to pull away from? What am I? What am I supposed to pull away from this? This is insane! Void of awkward moments. However, it would act as fodder for another 100 million views worth of drama and criticism. Chris likely believes that people will slowly adapt to his new appearance over time, but is this really going to happen? 
Yes. Well, maybe. It's difficult to say as the situation is fairly unique, especially when considering Chris's reputation and influence. However, if Chris continues to transition, would it be unreasonable to say that he could jeopardize some of the personality traits which made him a successful member? No. That would be absolutely unreasonable and actually deranged to say. That's insane. That's actually insane. Do you think that if do you think that if it was like uh if if YouTube existed in the 1960s uh that like people like Sunny V2 would have done a video like this about like uh, about like interracial marriage like you would be like do you think that Chris by marrying a black person is going to jeopardize the future and the personality of his channel T leave a like and comment if you think so like what the fuck? In the first place, perhaps the opposite will happen and he'll instead pick up new personality traits that better resonate with the current Mr. Beast audience. This was put forward in many comments supportive of Chris, who implied that there'll be millions of queer kids who look up to him. Which is true. There are going to be millions of queer kids who look up to Chris especially when they see that insane freakazoids like this loser, Sunny V2, are freaking out and treating Chris badly. There are going to be tons of queer kids who've been bullied, who are going to see Chris being strong and being themselves, regardless of deranged prejudice and bigotry, and are gonna take solace in that. Yes, actually, unironically. Although this doesn't necessarily mean that it'll add any value to the videos. Mr. Beast has likely cultivated a massive LGBT audience, all of whom are already watching anyway. And if we've learned anything uh? from Hollywood in recent years, it's that adding over the top LGBT characters for the sake of relatability rarely works as- Chris isn't a- Chris is a person, you fucking freak! Chris is a person, you fucking freak! What are you fucking talking about? And also, Citation needed. Sunny just, by the way, just a translation. Sunny just said, go woke, go broke, which by the way, is bullshit. It's literally made up. There is no evidence at all. Zero evidence whatsoever that go woke, bro go broke has ever existed. In fact, uh, Star Wars doing just fine. Lord of the Rings show doing just fine. Hershey's doing just fine. Bud Light doing better than it was before the ad campaign with Dylan Mulvaney. They're all doing great. Disney, doing fantastic. Go Woke, Go Broke is like the opposite of true. People, as it turns out, are totally fine with gay people. People, as it turns out, by and large, with the exception of weird, demented freaks like this guy, are totally fine with queer people. They're totally fine with trans people. They're totally fine with black people. It's only weird, creepy, conservative bigots that have a problem with trans, gay, and, and black people. As intended, and is often nothing more than a distraction from the- Octopus says, who is Chris? This was never explained. Yes, it was. I explained who Chris was in the very beginning of the video. That was the first thing I said. Let's continue. The premise of the movie or video. On top of this, it can be uncomfortable and unrelatable for the silent majority, although as we have seen, a what silent majority? What silent majority? You haven't even proven there is a silent majority. And in fact, the loud majority seems to be completely obliterating the silent majority that you don't haven't even proven exists. And also, what are they uncomfortable about? Interesting question, right? Are they uncomfortable about uh, the existence of a trans person? Are they uncomfortable about a trans person existing in public? Sounds like discrimination and bigotry to me. A situation like Chris's does have the potential to create an otherworldly amount of discussion, which could be seen as a benefit for the Mr. Beast brand. Drama is good for growth, 100%. That would be an easy way to up my so you're if a I got star it. The problem is this type of situation is probably the last thing that Mr. Beast wants to attract, as he's forced to agree with Chris's position, as he has no way of manipulating the situation with- Chris doesn't have a position. 
Chris is just living her life. Okay, Sunny V2 is actually insane. Like, this guy is unwell. I, I don't know how you frame a person who is minding their own business. Chris didn't do anything except for live her own life. She painted her nails, and then you're saying you're acting as if that's some kind of political position. Guys, I've talked about on my stream a million times how trans people are politicized. And what I mean when I say that sort of thing is that trans people are forced to become political. Our existence is made political. We can't just live quietly. I can't just make videos. I used to make videos that were way less uh, uh, loud about me being trans. When I first started my channel, I've always been very open about being trans. I've never like hidden it, but I didn't used to talk about trans stuff every single episode. Um, now, basically every single stream, I talk about trans things in one way or another. People ask me about it, but you want to know what has happened the entire history of my channel from the very beginning until just now? People comment about it. People talk about me and being trans. People have made the most deranged... There was a, when I, when my channel was a baby little channel, there was a, another content creator who made uh, multiple public social media posts just openly speculating about my genitals. I am not an adult performer, and even if I was an adult performer, making weird parasocial speculation about my genitals would never be okay, okay? What, what we're seeing right now is politicization in action. Uh, Chris didn't make any positions. Chris just decided to live her life however she felt fit and other people freak the fuck out about it. Deranged. Without being painted as the bad guy, it's a lose-lose situation for Mr. Beast. I think- No, it isn't. It's not a lose-lose situation for- What? It's not even close. Jimmy is in an inescapable situation. If he kicks out Chris, canceled. If he don't, his- Why would he kick out Chris? Why would Mr. Beast kick out Chris? Am I going, am I having a stroke here? This channel will die for real. An inescapable situation is a pretty good way of describing the drama. Which no, it isn't. It's inescapable only in the sense that you weird freaks have, ha won't stop being bigots. It, that's the only inescapable part of this entire situation is that you weird parasocial bigot freaks are constantly projecting your own problems onto other people. That's the literal only inescapable part of anything. Mr. Beast has no desire to escape from his friend. And there's no reason to do so. Chris is doing just fine. Chris is enjoying their life, having a happy family life and making content with Mr. Beast. This is insane. Which is also why it deserves the harsh label of being a nightmare. Jimmy has no option but to publicly express acceptance. Jimmy is trying to stay tr strong, but he actually wants to cry. Oh, oh yeah? Where did you, uh, where did you get that information? Was it the crystal ball? Was it the, uh, magic eight ball this time? Was it the, uh, did you, did you have a vision from God? Oh, boob guy seven. Oh, thank God. Oh, thank goodness we got a comment from boob guy seven. I, I, I would have. I'm, I'm convinced. Everybody, sorry. Uh, actually, uh, I, 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 I'm detransitioning now because boob guy seven weighed in. Sorry, everybody. Of Chris's transition, a silence or even worse disapproval would come with obvious severe repercussions. However, in accepting Chris's transition, Jimmy implies that this will be the new normal within the content, thus annoying a different group of people, many of whom will never express their true feelings. And Good. They shouldn't. Yes, there's the hot take. Bigots should shut the fuck up. Nobody gives a shit. Nobody gives a shit, not even a little bit, about your stupid opinions. No one. No one cares to hear your dumb crap. You don't even care to hear your dumb crap. All it does is make you angry. I, uh, also, you know what? Let's go take a look. Let's go take a look at Mr. Beast's latest video. Let's look at Mr. Beast. Come on, I want to check out Mr. Beast's latest video, okay? 
Mr. Beast. We're gonna play on this. Mr. Beast's latest video was from two weeks ago. So that's after this all happened. Sorry, everybody. Hold on. Hold on. I need to. Re I, we need to do a reveal here. So, I'm a defective human. Says I'm a defective human. Says yeah. Mr. Beast is gonna end up dropping the views because of Chris. Okay, ready? Ready, everybody? Here is the latest Mr. Beast video, okay? Which has more views from, it's a two week old video, and it has uh, uh, 15 million, 15 million more views than a video that was posted four weeks ago. So this video has been out for two weeks longer than his latest video, and the newer video has even more views. In fact, this newest video from Mr. Beast has almost, uh, what, another 16 million views than his video from two months ago. A video that's been sitting up getting more and more views for two months is, is just barely, just barely caught up, or just barely larger than a video that came out two weeks ago. So as it turns out, it looks like Mr. Beast is doing just fucking fine. Shame that I'm a defective human was, uh, wow, what a shocker that he was, uh, uh totally talking out of his ass. May rather simply click on fewer Mr. Beast videos. If this is the case, Jimmy has no option but to accept this fate, as removing Chris from the videos in any kind of way could create an even more severe media firestorm. The only clean solution- Why would he remove Chris from the videos? Again, I ask, why? Solution, should things go south, might be for Chris to resign himself, and even then rumors and bad press will be unavoidable. Whether it be arrogance or ignorance, Chris seems oblivious to how this whole thing might impact Jimmy, forgetting that he achieved his current level of success by avoiding this exact avoidable. Whether it be arrogant firestorm, the only clean solution, should things go south, might be for Chris to resign himself, and even then rumors and bad press will be unavoidable. Whether it be arrogance or ignorance, Chris seems oblivious to how this whole thing might impact Jimmy, forgetting that he achieved his- You heard it from- you heard it from Sunny V2, everybody. You heard it from the absolute brainlet, Sunny V2. Chris is selfish for not considering Mr. Beast's pocketbook when he decided to live his own life as an independent adult human. And this is all justified because of one weird transphobic freak. This is one of the dumbest videos I think I've ever seen. I actually cannot believe how stupid this video is. Real quick, I want to see. I wonder if other people have reacted to this. I want to see if other people have talked about this. I know some have. <laughs> hey, look, August the Duck. I like Aug I've seen August the Duck a bunch of times. August the Duck is another commentary channel. Sunny V2's Mr. Beast video is insane. True, it is. Mr. Beast is standing by Chris. Sunny V2 posts awful video about Mr. Beast and Chris. How Sunny V2 has ruined his reputation in 24 hours. <laughs> oh no, dude. Talk about who, who's going to be, who's losing subscribers now. Maybe the inescapable situation was the one you put yourself in. Hold on, let's, I want to hear, I want to hear, I want to hear our funny, uh, our funny French-Canadian, uh, cold one, the weapons! Remember that from the other stream? Remember when he had that meltdown where he was, uh, screaming about the Cold War and the weapons? I want to see what XQC has to say about this. Now, read it again. The Mr. Beast blazing out of I doubt he cares if he takes a hit. He definitely does care. And if the hit is too big, he definitely will cut them off. And I, I wouldn't even be mad at about that. Why? Because the level of a liability, you don't know how much it's going to be until it actually gets there. And making things like, guys, this is a friend, I can't drop him. Bro, what if it becomes an absolute nightmare? You don't know. What are you, what is this guy talking about? 
I, guys, we all know, we've seen that XQC is barely capable of rubbing two brain cells together. That he's, like, his literal only talent is being able to go, no, nah! when something happens in front of him. Like a baby, like, you know, like a, you know, he watches a video and goes, oh, ah, ah. he's basically like a reaction box. He's not actually able to think this through. Like, w what nightmare? What world do you live in where somebody transitioning would end the most or even damage remotely the most popular brand on YouTube? Not even the main person. Mr. Beast didn't even transition. What's what can happen? Don't make the Simmons that you that you gotta get away from them. Man, they're building an empire, idiots. Holy shit. Yeah, and they're building an empire bigger than anything that XQC will ever accomplish in his life because unlike unlike XQC, Mr. Beast is actually capable of like uh sentient thought. Uh, apparently, apparently there's another video of of XQC here. Yeah, yeah. Okay, all right. All right. Okay, so he chilled out a little bit is what I'm finding out. Okay, so I'm glad to know he chilled out a little bit. He's not so mad about it as he seemed. That last clip was... Sorry, the, the clip before was out of context. That's his real opinion. Yeah. Oh, God. Well... You know, I, I'm I'm just glad to hear. I maybe I was being a little too harsh to XQC. Uh, God damn. Uh, okay, so sorry. Final thoughts on the Sunny V2 video. Okay, uh, gotta I gotta wrap up my thoughts. Uh, Sunny V2. Uh, that video was uh unbelievably manipulative. Uh, it was extremely stupid. Uh, it didn't actually explain basically anything it framed actually deranged bigotry from nobodies from people who do not matter and don't have any relevance to the conversation at all as the same thing as the opinions of the people themselves so like chris's actual testimony of his own life was framed as equally valuable as like poop fart 27 from twitter who was like you're ruined western civilization is ruined and these were framed as relatively equivalent in sunny v2's video it looks like sunny v2 from just a cursory search across of youtube it looks like sunny v2 um is actually uh, getting roasted really hard and according to social blade sunny v2 has lost 20,000 subscribers since the video posted which is a pretty big deal keep in mind that the way that youtube works um uh, you lose and gain a small amount of subscribers all the time but to to post a negative of 20,000 subscribers is actually like a really big deal that's actually like a that's like a if that happened to, if I lost a hundred subscribers overnight, th that would be like a red alert. I would have to go figure out what happened that caused me to lose a hundred subscribers overnight. Because like I said, the way YouTube works, when you're a certain size, you're gonna be gaining and losing people. And if you're growing, you'll be gaining more than you're losing. But to just lose 20,000 total, that's like a, that's an audience rejection. Anyway, okay, let me let me say the, the Sunny V2 video was obviously terrible, blatantly manipulative. There were parts at which it was basically just him pondering his orb. There was the part in the video where Sunny V2 was doing the body language psych, slash psychic readings. Uh, it, he may as well have just consulted a wizard. Like, I would have respected the video more if he was like, we're bringing in our consultant, uh, Gandalf. Uh, uh, to get to, to give us a psychic reading through the Oracle's eye scrying pool uh, of what Mr. Beast is thinking about right now. It literally would have been more entertaining as a video if that had happened. Um, 
Puerto Rican musician says Mr. Beast was apparently in DMs with Hassan saying that as a normie, he was very shocked at the transphobia being directed by the average person. Yeah, but that's because of people like Sonny V2. That's because of people like Tucker Carlson. They're, they're, they're emboldening the transphobes out there and they're creating new transphobes slowly and surely by creating an inundation of propaganda. It's not healthy. It's just deranged. Also, I just want to say, as an addendum to this segment, um, uh, those of you who are watching live will have just watched me talking about the Bud Light situation, which is another example of just mass deranged prejudice that's completely unhinged. Um, but if you're watching on YouTube, first of all, like the stream or like the video, Press subscribe and ring the bell, and be sure to come join my Discord, Discord DGG for uh, Discord dot GG. I keep messing that up. I keep stumbling over the the the, the d d Discord Discord dot GG forward slash Demon Mama. Uh, uh, join my Discord. We would love to have you there. Uh, that's if you're watching the video. The rest of you are probably already there if you're watching me live. Um, but. Uh, uh, also go check out my video about the Bud Light situation because um, at the same time as this absolutely unhinged uh, transphobia directed at uh, uh, Chris Tyson from the Mr. Beast team, um, there is also a truly deranged and nationwide uh, transphobic campaign being directed at Bud Light because of a single novelty beer can. Not kidding you. Dylan Mulvaney, a famous trans influencer who is very chill. Dylan Mulvaney is not like a political uh, uh, demagogue. Dylan Mulvaney is not like a uh, like a like a protest warrior. Just a random, you know, a Broadway actor and a and a TikTok star got a a a novelty beer can from Bud Light that had her face on it, and conservatives have been freaking out for two weeks. Um, there is a really messed up. Uh, 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 moral panic around trans people in this country and uh, I want to just say it's terrible okay it's disgusting it's miserable it doesn't uh, uh, the average person doesn't like it um, it is a very very loud very very hateful cluster of people that are driving this entire thing and they're using a handful of highly influential media figures like Tucker Carlson, Matt Walsh, uh, uh, Michael Knowles, Steven Crowder, Sonny V2 apparently are all joining in to sort of push this idea that transphobia is more popular than it is but it isn't and guess what if you see that shit I'm gonna ask you Please push back against it. Please mock these disgusting bigots into the ground the same way that we would mock a uh, a, 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 a beer chugging racist, the same way that we would mock a, a, a Ku Klux Klanner. Mock these transphobes because they are identical. It's the same thing. It is just bigotry. It is just prejudice. It is just people being completely uh, uh, unaccepting of anyone who is even remotely different than them. And also, let me shout this out for all of the people out there who might be uh, trans themselves, who might be thinking about whether they're trans or not, who might just simply like being non gender non-conforming. It's okay. It is safer out there than these freaks make it seem. These people, these conservative demagogues, these guys who are like anti-trans and whatever, are they're deranged. Nobody likes them. Nobody can stand to be around them. You are loved. And also, you are cool. It's cool if you're a guy who wants to paint their nails. Whether you're trans or not, it's fine. Painting your nails is really fun. My nails aren't painted right now, but I wish they were. I just haven't painted them recently. Uh, uh, if you like to dress dapper, that's cool. If you like to dress beautiful, that's cool. Uh, the world is full of styles, and man, woman, non-binary, and everything in between. You should have the right to express yourself as you see fit. This uh, derangement about uh, painting your nails, or about wearing a frilly shirt, or about wearing the pants that are the wrong sex is insane. And anybody with two brain cells knows that it's insane. Uh, it's okay, and it's cool, 
and there's a lot of people out there who will support you. In fact, there's more people out there who will support you than people who won't. These hateful freaks have to make it sound, they have to scream so loud. They have to scream because they're afraid, okay? They know that the world is changing. They know that people like to live the way they like to live. Everybody, not just trans people, uh, cis people like to, to dress the way they want to. There are tons of cis dudes who like to get their nails painted. There are tons of cis dudes who wear makeup all the time. Uh, every single president since JFK has always gone out in public in a full face of make makeup. As it turns out, makeup can be pretty cool and pretty helpful. All right, so keep that out, keep that in mind, all right? These conservative weirdos uh, are, 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 are totally, it, like, they're totally weird, okay? They really are freaks. Nobody likes to be around them. They're miserable. They make everyone around them miserable. And never forget that, okay? Like the video, press subscribe, and please leave me a comment with your thoughts or feelings or even just an emoji. Every comment helps grow the fires of hell. I'm Demon Mama. Thank you for watching.